All right, we're back for episode 72 of the Idiot Circle. I'm Mike. I'm Fred. I'm Tim. And no czar. No czar. No czar. Hey, can we have, can we have a moment of silence, please. Uh, can we yep. can we have a moment of silence for czar? He's not here. Yeah. Okay, we're right. Well, he's re- <laughs> he's re- renegotiating his contract, yeah. so yeah. he's holding no out. No cigar until... for the czar. No he... cigar for the czar. Unless he, he unless he pops on like in some yeah. outfit or something, trying to take no. on a new identity. We're yeah. not sure. Yeah. No, no. Like yeah. Iron Sheik or something. All right. Yeah. Mysterio. Yeah. Man, weight unknown. Location unknown. The Tata. Yeah. Nice. So, so uh, hey, guys, I know that uh, uh, we want to thank you as a, as a, as a show. Um, we got our 100th subscriber. Uh, nice. And- YouTube, thank you very much. Whoever that 100 is, you get a um, gold star. Yep, you get a token for the Moose Lodge <laughs> at Port Huron for a beer. There you go. Yeah, so. Uh, Boomba. But, yeah, but thank you very much for doing that. Uh, Mike and I had a little experience last weekend. We uh, got up at the butt crack of dawn and we headed down to the big house. Woo! For the Michigan Indiana game, and let me just tell you, that was an experience in <laughs> itself. <laughs> Why don't First you tell all, them how you felt <laughs> before, uh, during, and after the oh game? Oh my god, <laughs> um, I, I was in, I was tired and in pain at, at the beginning. I was cold, tired, and in pain <laughs> before. <laughs> I was, I was pretty good during the game. After the game, I was okay until I got in the car and we got stuck in traffic and. I could barely keep my eyes open, uh, but cra- there was some craziness going on at the end of the game. But uh, I will tell you, um, you know, I've you know I've been to Michigan Stadium many times with I had season tickets and Mike's had season tickets and his friend uh, said, "Hey, I, I'm going to be out of out of town, out of the country. You, you want you want to do that? Do this? And sure." So Mike and I went. Uh, um, Try to get some other people to go, but didn't happen. But hey, it was just he and I. We had a good time, and we uh, tailgated and made uh, some breakfast bagels. And nice. And I'll let Mike explain what uh, he cooked, and it was uh, flipping phenomenal. And then, uh, and then we walked into the game. It was pretty simple walking. And when we walked in the game, we ran into Brenda Cates, John High, and John High Street, her, High Street. Uh, her husband nice and, and and her daughter. And their daughter, and uh, thought that was pretty funny. I mean, with all the people that you see. And then uh, when we walked out, we we walked and ran right into John Jansen, former uh, former Michigan Wolverine, uh, Redskin, and and Detroit Lion. So that's thought awesome. That was kind of, thought that was kind of funny. Did so, you get a fa- Did you get a picture with him at all? Did you try to? No, I you know I mean you know we're I I don't roll like that anymore. I I said hi, hey hey John, how's it going? He said good, go blue. And that's basically all. That's right, go blue. Big, he's a big dude. Yeah, big dude. He's lost a lot of weight though. I mean, he's doing that ideal. Yeah. He's view a, he's on ninety seven so. one in the morning. He's he does that. Nice is correct. Well, he yeah, weighs he less doesn't... than we do. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he's about f- three four inches taller than, right. and he's like <laughs> six five six six. Well, hell, he's but, nuts over me. <laughs> no. well, who isn't <laughs> yeah tattoo is taller than you yeah so uh we <laughs> yeah, got pictures from tim and from kevin during the game they're all holed up inside tim had a fire going i, I have my fireplace i haven't even had the heat turned on in my apartment yet and tim's in yeah. there with a fucking fire roaring during the game <laughs> it was a great shot it was you. You you like your fireplace? That's good. Well, I do. And not to mention the fact that you know I get Kevin saying, "Oh, has Fred got a wetsuit? He might melt in the rain." <laughs> I'll tell you what, Freddie was cold. Freddie was he cold. Was. Uh, I actually had to give him. I had a pair of gloves that I had. I keep in my car. I keep a a hat, gloves, and I keep boots in the back of my car yeah. just in case. You never know if the car is going to break down or whatever yeah. so, right. where'd you guys and, uh where'd you guys tailgate at uh right across the the street from the stadium so okay. it's on right on, on main the what yeah on the, yep on main street on the west side of, of the stadium so uh, you just school? walk 
What? Nope. It was at it's it's office a, a building. Office oh, okay. building that's uh, adjacent to a uh, to an apartment complex, and okay. uh, they they the office building rents out uh, their parking spots. And yeah. then you, there, there's a grass area right behind where yeah. you park. And is that a law you, office? Is, is that that law office area, or is that? I don't know. Um, I, I don't remember. know. It's, it's thirteen ten Main Street. Let me look it up. I'll tell you exactly but, uh, what it is. It's two. It's two hundred and fifty bucks a game, but you you, you got the private parking. You get in yeah. and out easy, easy. Nice. And and you got a place to tailgate, and everybody seems to be on the same page. And yeah, uh, WTKA announces right on, uh, in the parking complex, right, uh, nice. right, right there too. So you can you can listen to them barking about the game and yeah. stuff like you gotta, that. So you got to you got to you got to go down the crossover, or is there a crosswalk right there? No, we just walk right across the street. It's all blocked off anyway um, by the police right. and everything, so nice. you can walk right. Walked across, took about ten steps, and there's Boom, the in there, in there, nice. and we just walked walked over to the seats. Uh, Peter's got some good seats, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, cool. They're, they're it nice. looks like it's mainly a financial, different financial companies in this office building. Okay. I'm just looking it up right now. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's got a you know, it's got a like a parking covered parking like on the first level and. Mm -hmm. They had a couple porta potties. It's it's nice spot. No shit, no yeah, doubt. Definitely got you know, you know, the, the, the nice the, the weird thing was is we got into the game and it stopped. It it didn't rain during the first half and yeah. you know Mike and I looked at each other and said, "All right, you know, we were war we were both warm and everything was good." And then uh, halftime rolled around and and then it started to drizzle and and then but and then it then it stepped up to it from a drizzle to a you know, a, you know, a steady, not, a sprinkle. not too, sprinkle. Yeah, yeah, not too bad, but you know, towards like the, the last minute of the game, it started to get a little come cold. down pretty good. Yeah. 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 And it, and it, it got a little bit cold and, you know, Mike, Mike says, Hey, uh, you, you, you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, let's stay the whole thing. We, we've gone this far. Yeah. Let's just stay. I said, I haven't been to a game in five years. I, I'm not leaving the stadium again. He goes, yeah, the last time I left the stadium <laughs> and, and you know, everything, you know, went awry and I'm like, Oh God, and I missed out on it. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, so it, it was nice. The people around us were good. I mean, there was a lot of open seats because obviously people weren't going to the game because it was raining, but yeah. And of course they're playing Indiana, which was going to be, you know, was an, ass kicking so yeah but it was it was a good time so mike why don't you tell them uh what what you did for uh for eats well i made um uh bagel sandwiches with sausage pepper jack cheese eggs uh and fried onions i was gonna Ooh. do i was gonna do steak egg and cheese bagels but the steak was freezer burned i don't know how <clears throat> it hasn't even been in the freezer that long but so i just tossed it out fred's like hey you could probably you know you know, get rid of the edges. I'm like, nope, I'm not eating anything that has any freezer burn on it. So I tossed it. Yeah. But we ate, we had the onions on there. I didn't know if the onions would be good, but I basically took the sausages and made them like you would do a smash burger. I just smashed the, the sausages so they were nice and flat. And uh, yeah, we and I made some hash browns on the the blackstone. Nice, just like hash done. browns like like the McDonald's type hash browns. Yeah, nice. they're like the oblong yep. hash browns. Did you uh? you guys just you two or did you have a couple two three people no, with you or just, no, us two. just two of us That's yeah cool we, we solved the world's problems while we were sitting we there. i would imagine yeah, i would imagine and yeah. your phones were lighting up because we were all texting you in the yeah, warmth yeah yeah can't you know constant can't get away from you fuckers <laughs> not even for 20 minutes constant <laughs> texting yes so. yeah. brett did pretty good he had what three beers brett i was shocked yeah That'd be the hardest part, man. Is is God dang, man. You you get there, and I guess uh, we've done that before. I went with Fred. We went that time we were at the golf course, and you know you're drinking whatever, and then you know that was when the bathrooms weren't as close, and you got to find somewhere. You know now now you're getting older, man. That's a must. You got to have a bathroom, and then Christ, <laughs> yeah. you get out of there, and and then you get stuck in traffic, and that's even worse because you know, man. No, oh, yeah. Oh, well, the good. I mean, the three beers. I mean, I mean, it was like yeah, it was. I brought I brought ten, yeah, and, and I and I drank three, and, and Mike had yeah. two two big Jack and Cokes, and <laughs> well, I had two big did, tumblers of Jack. Did you guys, and Coke, did you guys Jack. ride together, or did you? you yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 
Um, yeah, we, we met at we met at the Meyer in, in on twenty six and and that's cool. jumped in, put my stuff in his car. He drove. We we sh we shot the shit with Rob on the way down for about about I'd say about twenty twenty five minutes. That's cool. And, and, uh, what about uh, what about when you got, got there? The got settled in. You know, when you get when you get in the vehicle when you get in the vehicle for the way home, that had to be horrible, dude, with the heat. No, it was fantastic because we had wet suits or uh, rain suits on. We took the rain suits off. We were dry, dry as your oh, granddaddy's yeah. skull. Okay, okay. <laughs> and and then we just turned the heat up a little bit just to thaw out a little bit. But the, the problem was is they had uh, Ann Arbor Celine Road closed. Oh. So it's like, how the hell do you get out of here? And yeah. Main Main Street for up yeah. you know up until downtown that you couldn't yeah. get get to that so, either. So I was like, what so the fuck? basically, and then we hit. I mean, there was traffic all up and down 94 because accidents. there was like accidents everywhere. So yeah. Mike and I probably didn't get home for, it took two and a half hours to get home. Yeah, took an oh. extra hour. Took an extra hour to get home. But we but, it, but we watched the Washington-Oregon game um, while driving. Um, nice. He had it, had, it, had, it, had it set up there, and we were, you know, he was driving. I was watching, like, ooh, we waited to see that play. And, he, nice. <laughs> and rewind it. Oh, yeah, ooh, that's a great play. But, and yeah. you got to see a and you got to see a uh, Wolverine victory. That's always good. It is. It, you know what? I will tell you right now. In in all the years that I had season tickets in the games I went to, I've only seen the I've only seen them lose three times. And all out of all those years that I went, and and, and actually one was and, and another one was a tie. So, oh. and and it, it was one of those things where I just. You know, I my cousin Nancy says, "Are you coming to the game?" I go, "Why?" She goes, "Every time you come, they win." I'm like, "All right, I'll, I'm I'm planning on coming," and they'd win. Yeah. And then the a couple times they didn't go, and then they lose. She goes, "You, it's your fault." I'm like, "Hey, easy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to two two uh, two Ohio State games. Two. I got tickets for from Greg on the one, and Fred and I went together in the other one, and they lost pretty handily. That was when Maurice Corrette ran all over them. And then I went with Jesse Laboon. Um, Greg gave us tickets. We were right up in the middle of all the Ohio State fans. <laughs> and that was when they went for two right at the end of the game when Gardner was the uh, mm -hmm. quarterback. Yeah. And they, they uh, lost. I'd I like to let you know the game that you did go to, they won. Which one? The one that you and I went to. Well, so I've been to three then. Yes, because um, I never – uh, I didn't have season tickets when Reese Claret was playing. No, there wasn't that the one where we went to the game and then we scalped the tickets and ticket on the way in. Is that the game? Yeah, we and they won. We, yeah, did they? Oh, okay. Yes, I thought they lost on that one. No, so I had season tickets when they lost to Appalachian State. So that was oh my gosh, Wardo. Oh my uh, gosh, <laughs> that was the most oh. interesting game I've ever been to because after that play. You, you, nobody said a damn word. Everybody walking back to the car. All you heard, I mean, normally people, you hear them talking and all this other shit, sure. yelling or whatever. All you heard was the whistle for the cop letting people across the, you know, the Ann Arbor Pioneer High School. Yep. That's all you heard. Nobody said a word. You could have heard a fucking pin drop the whole oh way back God. to the car. It was bizarre. How much did that college make on the, on the game? And they beat Michigan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably i don't know at least a million i'm sure they paid yeah they, fund, they probably funded their program for the year and they won yeah, i think freddie's frozen again either yeah. that or he's really bored right now I don't yeah know. he's his eyeballs are he's looking up <laughs> he's probably well, anyway, gonna drop here in a second <laughs> i do not understand i don't understand why that does that and i have no that's idea the internet connection that's all says your internet connection is unstable i'm like i got the highest uh level of service from xfinity i don't understand you, you sure well, didn't say that you were unstable or unstable see he's frozen <laughs> again <laughs> he's frozen again anyway um uh, i went to uh speaking of mariner football i went to the eighth grade uh football game okay. um against st Clair. pretty darn good when was that I last got, night or uh last night yes okay. uh, they played st Clair. Uh, they won pretty handily. Good football game. The Mariners were running up and down the field pretty good. It was 48. Got, 
I have 48 yeah. to 14 or something like that. Yeah, 48 14. Pretty good. Um, you know, they they did some nice things, you know, look look good. Uh, um, they ran the starburst a couple of times. Uh good one time, eh, not so good the next time. Uh fumbled on it, but they they, they look good. Uh, I got to see the triplets play the Volkmans. They look they're they're worth the uh price of admission, buddy. Let me tell you. That's they're pretty darn good. And that team is they in eighth, be, they're in eighth grade, right? Yeah, that team is going to be really, really talented. So, what is um, the price of admission? Uh, whatever you want to pay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ten dollars on Hala. It's, de- it was, it's definitely worth it. <laughs> it was two bucks. Okay. It was two bucks. I got to see. Uh, I got to chat with uh, uh, Davy Volkman a little bit, their dad, and then I got to I uh, see Ron. Ron was there for a little bit, so it was good to catch up with him. Good. So it was it was very nice. Nice night for football. Yeah. Good crowd. For an eighth grade game, they were cheering, and um, you know it was good, clean football. You know, you like to see it. You know, you know, I I got to see them early in the year against Marysville, pretty tight game, and then they played St. Clair. Uh, they improved so much with just like splits and you know stance and tackling and you know overall swarming defense. And I mean, they scored on a couple passes, and they look good. So I was uh, I was impressed for eighth graders. Nice. The future is bright. The future well, let, is let's bright. Let's hope because that ninth grade class has only got 80 kids in it. Really? Yeah. Wow. So hopefully that eighth grade class can su- you know, supplement. Yeah. I noticed St. Clair had low numbers at the eighth grade level. I'm not sure why, but they did. Well, I, I'm at sixth grade. The sixth grade class has only oh. got 60 kids in it or something like that. Well, yeah. But need, needless to say, they, you know, that's, that's always good to hear. But, you know, we got Marine City and, and Durand. Um, on Friday, it's the last Friday home night. game. Last home game. So senior night. Um, last week was homecoming. The week yeah. prior, we uh, they inducted uh Dave Osterlin, Ron Glodich, and uh, is it Lindsey Abraham? Um, can't remember what her first name was. Her last name was Abraham, but she was a basketball player. All that stuff. But no, those three went in. So I mean. It, this is kind of a crucial game because of the fact that, you know, if you go in with only one loss, you, you might get multiple games at home. If you go in with a loss, you might get a home game and then yeah. have to go on the road the rest of the time. So yeah. um, I think they, they understand uh, the implications of what this game is going to, what it means. Um, yep. I know that they played last year and Duran beat them handily. Uh, I think the one thing is, is I saw that the last time I saw Duran was three and three. So yeah, I don't know what they're, they're, they're three and five. I just looked it up. Okay. So the Duran so, railroaders. Yep. So they might be a little down, but again, it depends on, they might be playing it. They might play in a tough league. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, but the fact, the fact is, is we need, uh, we need a W so you can, uh, you know, secure home field. You know, I mean, obviously our mate is not going to be a factor. Um, I think Elmont, Elmont, you know, if we have to play them, um, you know, obviously we'd have to end up going there and we do not have a good uh, track record playing there. No. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I don't know what the enrollment is, so I don't know where where they stack up as far as, uh, yeah, you know, it, the playoffs go. But, you know, hey, you know, like I said, playoffs are, you know, what, what the kids are playing for now and and yeah. we'll, we'll see how it goes. We just need a, a lot of people at that game and hopefully the sure. weather, weather's halfway decent. You know, I don't care if it's cold. You know, I just this rain bullshit. Well, yeah. you know, you're in a press. You're in a press box. So, well, I'm I'm thinking about the fans <laughs> and, and getting people another, to come out. And, first down. First down. And, 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 and not to mention the fact that you know you got to worry about kids getting hurt because of you know the rain and you know I mean I, you know I, I think about all those things. I could I could care less that I'm in the press box or not. It's still cold in there. So it's uh, but you know the thing is is they. They got to take care of business this week, and then uh, yep. we'll. And then Sunday, um, I think selection it's six, Sunday. Yeah, selection Sunday. I think it's on at six on on Bally Sports. Um, so you gotta you get coach on. Out. You're gonna try and get coach on. He said he'd come on before the playoffs. Yeah, I, I'll see if he's avail. I'll see if he's available uh, next week, and just see you know talk about who his first opponent is. I'll, I'll see yeah. what. I, I'll see if he's available. Yeah, yep. I can do that. I so. Remember I remember he said that when we first interviewed yeah. him there. He said, you know, maybe a playoff pre 
little one there we could get him in yep. so yep so that's good and then uh obviously we, now we got the you know the this weekend we get the in-state rivalry michigan michigan mm -hmm. state um the largest uh you know, right now the spread. largest uh, spread in in the rivalry's history at twenty four points. What? Wow. Uh, you know, wow. and you know, but again, records throw them out. Yeah, it, they're it's always a, a battle, and some somehow, some way. Yeah. Um, it, it's going to be a night game. Don't know what the weather is supposed to be like Saturday. I think there's a chance oh, of rain. It. They, you know, they got their fields grass, so yeah, yeah, worry, you know, got to worry about the conditions there. And then, well, uh, I mean, think about it, you, and you, then you they, think they about got this playing yeah. down you know, to an opponent, and maybe you know, overlooking the opponent that happens. They are not all the, athletes, the last but, thing that that oh. Michigan's going to do is overlook Michigan State. Oh, I just, oh, I, I, just I, it just scares me. I, I know, well, it scares me too. I, I hope that they can hang 50 or 60 on them, that would be nice. Um, yeah, they'll be all right. You know, just, and, and just a good win, consistent yep. win. Nobody yep. gets hurt. Win. Nobody gets That's hurt. It. Either team, either team gets hurt. Correct. Well, hopefully, everybody acts x civil, you know, and, and plays a hard game, and you know, doesn't act stupid like they did last year. And yeah, um, and and just you know, a, and and you know, just take care of business. And then, of course, Sunday we have the Lions the and the Detroit, Detroit Lions. Like, where are, where are five. Yep. Five. Five and one. So the real question, Wait. Michigan, Michigan State, is Michigan gonna cover the spread on Saturday? Yes or no? Tim. No. Fred. Yes. I say yes also. Twenty four? Yeah. Yeah. I I'm think I think up. they I'm, win I'm by twenty eight. I'm, look, I'm looking up I'm looking up in my prior notes. Of didn't we discuss Lions records up to this point? I don't know. Did we? I think we said for the season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you check your notes, Tim? What did you say? Uh, hang on. Uh, I remember I talking that. about Michigan State's record, and I think Rob said, um, I think either two or three. Yeah, they would have that, for the that's, season. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm trying to find might our not be far off. <laughs> right uh, Lions record, and I remember if I wrote it down or not, but um, I think uh, a few people were like, "Oh, they're going to do this. You're going to." Yeah, he doesn't well, have I... his notes. Yeah, you don't have your notes, so don't. No, <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I think some people said this and some people said that. Well, no shit. That's... <laughs> okay, Tim, you owe me two boombas so far. I do. I'm I willing do. to put. Let's. You want to go double or nothing? So no, no, no. I'll take my beating. I'm done. <laughs> but... One more boom. We'll have a boomba on no. the Michigan. I've already. I've they'll give you Michigan paid, State. Listen, they'll give you Michigan Ford, State. In I've 24. already paid for enough boombas, and I never even drank it. <laughs> Okay, boy, so boy, for somebody that makes a decent amount of money, you're worried about like five, like ten bucks for two. You, you two won't, years. you won't take Michigan State in twenty four points. No, oh, I think God. Michigan State will. Pry you said it they out. wouldn't cover. You said up, Michigan wouldn't cover. No, I just, I just think it's going to be. I, I just want a good football game. I, I don't, you know. I mean, I want Michigan to win, but I'm also, you know, I want to see a good football game. Yeah, I don't care if it's a good football game. I'd rather see a total no. fucking demolishing. Yep. And then who do they got after that? Oh boy. Yeah, they got a buy, and I think they play Penn State, right? Yes. Or they play Maryland. Maryland, I think. Maryland, Maryland first. Um, that's, a, yeah. that's a to me that's a trap game. No. Um, because it's at Maryland, and and then the week after that they play Penn State. So yeah, that could oh, be their fall off game. Yeah, I, but, I I I've watched Maryland a couple times. That. You know, to his younger brother, he's still a freaking gunslinger. He'll throw in yeah, a yes. triple coverage and think that he can, you know, fit it in there. Yeah. I mean, they hung with uh, Ohio State for it. It wasn't yeah. that they were tied at halftime or something. And it was 17 17 with two minutes left in the third period or third yeah. quarter. Yeah. But so, yeah. but but again, you know, that's 
that's here and or there. You know, the big thing now is is you just just get the victory on Friday for the Mariners. Yes. Saturday for the Wolverines. And then, you know, hey, big game for the uh for the Lions on, on Sunday. Uh yeah. Jameer Jameer Gibbs is back. Brian get him Branch, back going. Uh, Brian Branch is back. They signed uh, that Mohammed Abreem um back to you know from the practice squad, the, uh, yeah. the running back out of Minnesota. Yeah, he was good. Um, yeah. He had a little fumbleitis during uh during preseason, so the, you know they signed him to the practice squad. But I think they kind of, yes. maybe they got it figured it out, um, you know. And obviously, you know uh, what the Lions have been able to do with their running game and and making teams one dimensional is is kind of a nice thing because I think if they can keep keep Lamar Jackson in the pocket and yeah. for, force him to throw, um, yeah, and and we, and we're able to do what we do on offense. Uh, Think we'll be okay. I, I, I just it win by one. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Just Victor. win by one, win by twenty one. I it doesn't matter. You still won. You know, I don't expect them to hang 20, 20 30, 40 points on, yeah. on people all the time. You might have to have one of these games where you win seventeen to thirteen. Um, you know, or thirteen thirteen ten or it's worse yeah. than a defensive struggle. But you know what the thing is is I think right now what the Lions defense really wants to prove is the fact that this isn't, it hasn't been happening just to, to the team, the horrible schedule that they played. Yeah. Baltimore is Baltimore is going to be their toughest battle. Yeah. And they, and they want to prove that their defense is, is an, an elite group of guys um, this year. So um, I think they're, they're, they're going to come out and, and hopefully uh, play as well as they have been. And, 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 they're, I mean, the, the opponents are averaging only like 30 yards a game. Yeah. So they're, they're completely shutting down the run. So well, they're and as far as, well. well, yeah. Yes. And, I, and I think as far as running backs are concerned for Baltimore, they don't have JK Dobbins. They got justice Hill and, and one other guy that's, you know, kind of yeah. a no namer, but, but the thing is, is if you can keep, if keep those guys in check, then, then it's, you know, putting some pressure on Lamar and yeah force them to make some mistakes and yeah. don't come down to where you're tied going and, and give Justin Tucker a chance to kick a, a field goal. Cause that, yeah. fuck, that fucker is pretty much a, a stud. Yeah. So yeah. what do you think of uh, they call the so-called Jared Goffins now? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I just, you know, the thing about Jared Goff right now, I think he, he the reason why he was cast off is because I think he was railroaded by Sean McVay. I, I do think too. He, I think he was written off, and you know they didn't have a running back. They didn't. He's a play action type quarterback. Yeah. They didn't have a running back there, and you know, and their offensive line wasn't good. So, yeah. um, you know, he comes here, and I mean, you look at his face when they when they do a, a close up. Man. Not, I mean, stone faced. He, oh, I yeah. think he he knows what he wants to do. I think he he understands what the game plan is, and he knows he has the weapons. You know, underrated, you know high draft choice people, whatever, yeah. you know, I mean, the people that are stepping up are the people like Craig Reynolds and Josh Reynolds yeah. and, and, and Khalif Raymond and people, yeah. people that, I mean, if they went somewhere else and play, they probably wouldn't be, yeah. you know, in I a just, spotlight. I just think Let's, he throws such a catchable football. I think, I think there's such a big difference in the delivery mm -hmm. of his past, you know, I mean, you talk about like Stafford, Stafford years ago threw a su super hard football. Sometimes that's not good. No, you, know, you 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 throw a football that's uncatchable, or mm -hmm. you know when when uh, you know Calvin Johnson's jumping all over the place trying to catch a football that's poorly thrown or hard thrown, right. and he's falling, right. you know, on the ground and doing all this and getting not getting hurt. yards yeah, after yeah. yak yak yards. Our guys are getting yak yards now because mm -hmm. he throws a catchable football. I think right. that's my opinion. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, Sam Laporta is playing well. Oh. Well past a rookie uh, mindset, so so you know he's he's been very valuable. I think yeah. Jamison Williams touchdown is going to prove to be maybe a coming out party for him. I think where the starter you know, block, the, it's a starter the, block. The, the the confidence. Well, the thing is, is um, Brian Baldinger was one of the announcers, and and the one pass where. Uh, he kind of got caught flat-footed, and, and Jared Goff threw it short, and he kind of dove for it and didn't catch it. 
he said, that's not the best part about the, he, he goes, sure, he, sh he should have caught it or he could have caught it. But, but the thing is, is what did he do to that defenseman? He stopped dead in his tracks. And that defenseman was seven, eight yards down the field, yeah. uh, you know, trying to, you know, to, you know, stay up with him. Yeah. And he, he stopped on a dime and that, that guy kept going and he's wide open. That's the abilities that this kid has. Oh, yeah. And I think, and I think the support that he got from the players at, when he got the touchdown and after the game is only making him want more. Sure. So yeah, I want to see more. That's all. I yeah, so I, th I think we all do. So, you know, let's, uh, let's hope uh, we have a three and oh, a three and oh weekend. Um, yeah, we got this, this weekend. Michigan victory, right? Mariner, Mariner victory. First. Mariner, Vic, Mariner, Michigan, and we got the old good old Lions. What about the Red Wings? What's going on with them? You have you watched? I mean, uh, yep they they actually look, they look pretty good. good. They, uh, the first the first game they looked a little out of sorts. You know, it's first game of the year, and of course, yeah. pe you know, people on the Red Wings uh, web pages and stuff at, were acting like the guys from the you know, Dr Pepper commercial were, hey guys, that was only the first play of the game. You know, when you when they all react, oh, the season's over, and oh, yeah. Da, da. Uh, yeah, I'm like, guys, this is, you know, this is not a 17 game schedule. It's an 82 game schedule. This is, yeah. a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's the first game, and they lost four to three. Yeah. Okay. In, in overtime, they, right there. Uh, may, may, yeah, maybe I can't. No, no, they lost four to three in regulation. Four three, regulation, okay. Okay, but they, you know, they they they're three and one. Yeah, they look and, good. And and they play tonight. They're playing the Pittsburgh Penguins. So um I'll but, watch a little bit. Yeah, we'll watch that for a little bit. But uh, you know, but like I said, it's it's one of those things where we're getting into that season where, you know, football, you know, they're gonna start coming out with the power rankings and you know, and the playoff rankings and stuff like that for uh that we're gonna get the yeah. playoff schedule for uh the high school uh team here on Sunday. And then, you know, then obviously then once that gets going, then you get in, you start getting into the heart of the, you know, the real tough part of, you know, of the, of the winter when you get into playing like the cow. <laughs> he froze. <laughs> he look, at, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This is the best part. Look at that face. He'll come out. He'll be all mad. God. <laughs> Dang. Oh shit! Let's talk anyway. about Fred's internet. He says he has the fastest the internet best. that's possible. So his apparently, uh, apparently it's not. Yeah, his equipment must suck inside of his house or yeah. something. I don't know what what he's got going on. He's um, maybe, what he's got cooking up there. Looks like he's got a guitar case behind him. Yeah, maybe something. Uh, we got the. I'm gonna watch a little baseball playoffs. We got Houston and. Texas, a uh, guy from work. His boy is uh, one of the pitchers. Well, there he, he dropped off. He go. You know who's really going to like this episode? Oh, Brock. Ruth. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so far, we've only talked about sports. The whole yeah, time. sorry, Ruth. Sorry. <laughs> so you got the playoffs. I watched a little American League, and then the Phillies. Uh, I got I got a, a good friend of mine that uh, does the play call for them. But he was our color guy when uh, I was with. Uh, um. Trent Thunder and the Eastern League. He was he was there. So great guy. Peek, Peekaboo, I see you. Where is he? He's there. Hi. Hey, no, Fred. You, see, you can Welcome see me. Back, Fred. stupid. So, Welcome Fred, here, is here, that a guitar here. case behind you? Here, yes, here. yes, it is. Word, Wordle. Yeah. Who am I? Fred Windsor. Your plastic doll <laughs> in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Yeah, but you're going to have to make your mouth a little bit smaller to fit for you. Oof. I was just, yep, I was just uh, letting Timmy know that, you know, who's really going to like this episode so far is Ruth. You know, Ruthie, she loves, it's all sports. She loves I, sports. I'm sorry, Ruth, but um, I, I try to reach <laughs> out to you to get subject. So just to let you guys know, um, I did put out a Facebook Live message uh, this afternoon on my lunch hour. And I said, if anybody was willing to put out a um a topic that we thought was really good that we would invite them on the show to talk about that particular topic so Ooh. let's see if anybody uh jumps on that or not 
Um, um, I, I, I don't think we're going to be having people beat down the door to be on the show. No, but <laughs> I but, thought you were going to say we we're going to give something away for the and best. You're going to get somebody on here going, Campbell's concentrated soup is mm, good. All right, yeah. here's the deal. If if be someone sure puts, to drink your oval tea. Yeah, oval if, tea. If someone puts a topic in the comments that we end up using on the show, I will buy them a boom bag, Gars. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. So Let's if we it. get three people that have topics that we use, hey, I'm buying three Boombas. Yeah. I mean, I'm already getting two from Tim anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be the, that'll be like the nineteenth Boombas I bought in my days and never drank them. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Nineteen. Yeah, you you're you're knocking thoughts. I can't believe in all these years you haven't gone in. I've never drank out of a glass. Well, he's not no, a draft he, beer guy. He's a well, bottle hey, beer what, guy. Hey, get over it. You're gonna do it. So I don't want to hear it. Hey, so. Are you don't, the are you the one that you're the one that wrecked the buffet? <laughs> yes. Hey, don't pressure him. No peer pressure, Tim. Yeah, no peer pressure. So boys, um again, uh we'll uh I'll see if I can get a hold of uh Coach Letson and and talk yeah, about our our, uh, our opponents for next week. Maybe I'll even yeah. get uh, uh, see if uh, Craig and and Jesse want to join in as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, again, guys, we are on YouTube. We are on Twitter. We are on um, Facebook and Instagram. Oh, um, oh, again, oh. be be the hundred hundredth and one subscriber. My beep, 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 again. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> If we get two hundred, if, if we get two hundred subscribers by next no, week, no, I am not. No, I'm not doing it. Fred Break will buy everyone a Boomba. Fred, Fred will buy every subscriber a Boomba at Gars. There you go. Yeah. Okay. If, if we get two hundred by next week, yeah, I, I'll give you a very large check like Jackie Moon. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to okay. You got to. You got to end the show like say, got to say, go Mariners, right? Go Mariners. Gotta say, Go blue, Mike. Mike, you do. Go ahead, Mike. Go Mariners. Go blue. And go Lions. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> Four down the field, folks. Have a great Four night, and, uh, we'll, and we'll see you next week. Peace out. All right. Peace out.